Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are going to be checking out the first of several Lawn of Doom plants because of course the Lawn of Doom Halloween event is going on both in Plant vs. Zombies 2 and in Battle for Neighborville. We've been checking it out there, but as you can see for PvZ2, there has been the Lawn of Doom bundle. Um, along with it, there has been the plan of the week, which is the Jack-O-Lantern, so we're just gonna get the whole bundle. Uh, it's really cool. There's also a Lawn of Doom level up pack, but most importantly, I think, which we'll be doing next episode, is there, there is a Jack-O-Lantern tournament. So today, we're gonna get Jack-O-Lantern along with the other Lawn of Doom plants, and then next episode, we'll go to the tournament with them, so that should be a lot of fun. So let's start with getting the Jack-O-Lantern. If we go to the store, you can see that you can get the Jack-O-Lantern individually for $4.99, or what I will choose here, the Lawn of Doom bundle, which has Witch Hazel, Jack-O-Lantern, and the Ghost Pepper, plus 500 seed package for premium and world plants plus 25 seed package for each plant so that should be pretty cool hopefully it'll get everybody a little bit leveled up and we get 500 seed package which is crazy and more than that we'll be able to get three of the plants that i plan on showcasing anyways because it's lawn of doom you just gotta so let's go ahead and check that one out Oh man, 61 pinatas, that's crazy. So let's open up this one. Also, I haven't mentioned it, but this is also the 100th episode of the series. Isn't that crazy? 100 PVZ2 episodes and many more to come soon. But here is our experience. We get 10 for the snow pea. We get, oh, and that maybe that's a level up. He seems pretty excited. We get 10 for the fire pea shooter. Um, Another 10 for the Grim Rose. Out 20 for the, the Primal Walnut. 40 for the Shadow Pea Shooter. That's gonna be a level up for him. We just showcased him. Uh, the Spore Shroom also gets a level up. 10 for the Garlic. 20 for the EM Peach. 10 for the Jalapeno. Very cool. This is going very slow. I don't know why. Uh, Toadstool, there we go. Got that. 20 for the Primal Potato Mine. 20 more for the Solar Tomato. We're getting a lot. 30 for the Lava Guava. 10 for the Electric Blueberry. 10 for the Pepper Pult. Electric Pea Shooter, 20 for the Chomper, who I still don't even have. 10 for the Hypno Shroom, Bloomerang, Sunflower. Oh, haven't seen a Sunflower experience in a while. Kali pow Power, Torchwood, Nightshade, a whole variety of them. Escape Root, Explodo Nut, Spike Weed, that's a level up. Grape Shot, that's exciting. Cactus, Gold Bloom, Kiwi Beast, it just keeps going. Bomagranite, Colonel Pult. <laughs> Blover, Cold Snapdragon, Iceberg Lettuce, Pea Pod, it just, it just keeps going, Wasabi Whip, Witch Hazel, there we go, so this is the 25 for Wasabi, no, for, for Witch Hazel, and Jack-O-Lantern, and then lastly, Ghost Pepper, very cool, so there's a level up for all three, there's so many level ups in that, that's gonna be, Difficult to afford. I think that I'm just going to focus on affording the one that we're doing in today's episode, the Jack-O-Lantern. So let's go and play and check out the Almanac for the Jack-O-Lantern. Now, I only have a little bit of experience with this plant because it was also a holiday event thing back in Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, but uh, it should be somewhere around here. There it is. So this is the Jack-O-Lantern, and as you can see, has 225 sun cost, the 20 second recharge, 300 toughness, 300 damage, and the special is flame length, and the plant food powers, of course, damage, and that'll all improve once I level them up for a thousand coins. Uh, but first, let's read his description. Jack-O-Lantern spray fire down a lane, doing extensive burning damage over a short distance. The usage is tap for a single flame burst, tap and hold for more powerful flame jet. So I actually have to tap the plant, interesting. Special is fire charges over time. Boom, <laughs> oh, 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 pines jack-o'-lantern. Oh yes, things and stuff are scheduled to be seriously spooky when he's around, count on it. All right, so we'll go ahead and level him up. He is a fire type plant, which is really exciting, so hopefully soon I can showcase the, um, the flame mint. And as you can see, that got him at the level two, but not quite level three. But we'll work on that because before we get into anything else, we are going to do the, well first we get some gems for collecting 40 seed packets, that's great. But we are gonna be doing the event, the premium seeds, Jack-O-Lantern, play with Jack-O-Lantern and win 50 Jack-O-Lantern seed packets. So that's perfect. Um, and like I said, we'll be playing him a ton more next episode as we go into the tournament. I just wanted to make sure that I did this for the 100th episode because I feel like this was more exciting than just the battles. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But here he is, he's already level two. He's such a cool looking plant in my opinion. So apparently how he works is I put him down and he won't do anything. But if I tap him, he'll flame things up. So that's pretty good to know. Maybe I shouldn't have put him in the back. Let me dig him up. I'm sorry, I'm already messing this up. 
So if I put him like this, and maybe over time he'll charge up more? I suppose so? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. For right now it doesn't seem like it, but you never know. Cause he's just, yeah, he just seems the same. So he's able to attack three lanes in front of, oh, that's the tiny one. No? Well, yeah, it is, but you can see this flame is bigger than that one is. Okay, ready? Boom, nice. Let's get this guy in the top lane, and that just like totally turns him to ash. That's pretty cool. Whoa, okay, so yeah, now it's, so they start with it being at full. That's cool. I wonder if this is why they haven't put pumpkin PVZ too. I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, let's put this here. But yeah, very cool plant so far. I wanna keep at it. Get another one right there. And just like totally get them out of here. It's very cool. Yeah, get rid of all of that. Just have to be careful. We could very quickly be bombarded here if we don't pay attention. So let's try out the plant food. I wanna try it. Actually, I might wait. Let's wait for now. That got a little scary. Definitely wanna make sure that doesn't happen. For right now, I can do that there. That was maybe a little too soon. Oh no. Oh, turn in the dust. Turn in the dust. <laughs> Luckily, the, the Colonel Pulse had her backs there. Got a couple of coins waiting for me over that way. We have more jack o' lanterns. I don't really know what to do with. I'll hold on to them for now. Because I have this whole setup with the Colonel Pulse. So I don't wanna ruin it. Okay. Uh, so the Colonel Pulse should be able to have this covered for the most part. I just wanna be able to torch that a little bit and see what it does. Okay, so here they come, another huge wave of them. They take a second to get here, that's for sure. <laughs> they really take their time. Ready, see ya. Not bad. So I guess I could have put them a little bit closer, would have been fine. So the flame doesn't affect how far it goes out, but how much damage it does, it seems. It definitely doesn't affect how far it goes out. <laughs> okay, there is that. Yeah, torch that guy up a bit more. Oh no, 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 no. Don't let that happen. Let's slow things down now. We'll use a plant food here. Whoa, 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 what do I do with these? Do I tap them? I don't. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what that did exactly. I guess it just makes these little flame things that hurts everybody. Let's try again. Yeah, it's definitely burning him away. And then we'll, we'll just do this really quickly. Boom, boom. <laughs> That's cool. All right, that was awesome. Jack o' Lantern's a lot of fun. And there's the first level done. We're able to keep it nice and safe. Okay, I had a blast with that one for sure. And we are good to move on to the next step in the action, level number two. And see how far this gets us. But yeah, so far I'm liking the Jack o' Lantern, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think the Jack o' Lantern is good, bad, or somewhere in between? Do you have him yet? I would love to hear all about that. How is your Lawn of Doom going? Both in PvZ2 and Battle for Naperville, have you been able to get all the uh, tournaments done? Have you been just participating in the action? There's the Lawn of Doom pinatas, which we'll do at the end of today's episode. Along with it, though, how have you been doing in Battle for Naperville? That is something I would love to hear about, because um, in that game, of course, there's been lots of cool action going on between uh, trying to earn up all the bulbs and stuff so that you can get all the goodies. Let's do that for now because this is getting highly overwhelming. There we go, got a bit of a zigzag strategy right now. Intentional or otherwise. Oh no, he did eat through it. That sort of stinks, but I don't know if that's gonna get him. So I wanna make sure that does it at the least. Okay, oh, we actually have to use this, you know. I always forget, it's not gonna do it on its own. <laughs> oh man, there we go, not bad. Yeah, let's torch these guys up a little bit more if we can. Come on, keep at it. This is very dangerous. Come on! Yeah, okay, just barely, just barely. I guess I'm gonna have to do this the, the old fashioned way over here. Yeah, I don't really know how much we're gonna be able to deal with that octopus, octopus zombie, but we can do that. Sure, why not? No, no, wait, Ugh, ruined it. My whole setup here, my whole strategy is like a total mess. Um, there we go. Got some plant food coming in. There we go. Hopefully that's enough to maybe damage those guys down because if not, I'm in trouble. There we go, come on, quickly, quickly. Uh, This guy might, okay, this guy's going past all that, so I just might as well let him. No, 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 stop. <laughs> the only problem is there's a lot of micromanaging you need to do when, you know, uh, 
you have the jack-o'-lanterns because you want to actually make sure that they're doing something. And that could be tough. There we go, got rid of him. Let's do another one of these. So we only missed out on one lawnmower, that's not the end of the world. Yeah, zap that dude. And let's get to doing this. That should help. <laughs> awesome, we did it. Okay, well, it took a little bit of effort. We had to lose a lawnmower, but we got it done. Level two wasn't too bad then. So yeah, after we do these five levels, we get some extra seed packets for the jack-o'-lantern. We'll play some story mode levels to earn up the pinatas there. And then lastly, we will try to do the uh, pinata party. I need to get that all done so that we can actually get the full thing. I never finish the pin pinata party because I never play every day. I play every couple days so I can play in batches because that's more productive. But these games never like it when you do things productively. <laughs> Anyways, looks like we gotta survive four flags this time, which could be a bit of an issue. I wanna put that way out there and see if it's a good idea. Same thing with this jack-o'-lantern. Uh, oh, definitely wanna do this here so I can just be gone with you. Oh, but that doesn't hurt him at all. Keep in mind, he is a, a dragon imp. He uh, doesn't take any fire damage. Okay, I'm ready for this though. Boom, torching this guy, torching that guy, going around here. I definitely wanna get rid of the bucket head as soon as we can. Um, same thing over this way, because if not, they get highly problematic pretty quickly. There we go. It is really like a lot of tapping, a lot of paying attention to a lot of different things, but I like the plant food effect because it does sort of have like a multi-lane effect, which does really help, just because that way it's multiple things that I, I, like, I don't have to worry about it as much. Okay, ready, set, down that way for sure. Can you please just leave that alone? And the parrot stole it anyways. Or no, did he, did the parrot steal another one? I can't really tell. Okay, there we go. We're getting there. <laughs> it isn't easy. We're trying to make it work. There we go, you're super flamed now. Same thing with you. I'll get that there. Will that actually get the parrot? It will, cool. More plant foods coming in. I'm trying to survive all these flags though. Try to get to the last one, but I don't know, this is a lot. I might go ahead and just put that out there. Oh, that does so much though. It puts out nine of them, like, that's crazy. I didn't exactly put them on every lane I could have used them on, but it put them on a good chunk of it, so I can't complain. So where are we putting our third jack-o'-lantern? I guess right there. I mean, that's actually not gonna reach a zombie. <laughs> Unless they switch my Endurian, which they did at that exact moment. Uh, let's just put this here then. <laughs> Who needs the Endurian? I don't mean to say that. That's a little rude to the Endurian. There we go. Come on, get these guys. Uh, just tapping as much as I can. Trying to keep up with all these guys. Okay, so this is the last flag. So this is where we could actually do a lot of plant food. And okay, he's toast. Everybody's toast. That one went really well. We got a coin out of it, a little extra. And we got, uh, what was it? <laughs> My mind blanked. A bag of coins for all of our lawnmowers. That's what I meant to say. Level four, more than halfway through now. So with this one, are we gonna get another conveyor belt level? Because I think all three of them have been conveyor belt. I would love to see something a little bit different. Uh, yeah, okay, we get pre-selected. So we get uh, jack-o'-lantern, sunflower, walnut, stunion, and pea shooter. So I'm gonna guess the main idea would be for right now to build up sunflower and probably just pea shooter so that we can get some basic damage out. But at the same time, if I could just do this, that'd be great. Uh, Get that there. I'm gonna hold off as long as I can. That way it gives me more time to play sunflowers before more zombies spawn in. Because these zombies won't. There we go. Uh, new zombies won't come in until these guys get taken out, just like that. And that's what I'm trying to sort of guard against. We'll put a pea shooter there because it should be able to take out one cone head without too much of an issue. And there we go. Two lanes of sunflowers. I might want to go for three, depending on the circumstance. Hmm. Let's hope that pea shooter can actually take out a, a cone head. I'm pretty sure he can. Yeah, yeah, he should. We might eat through a sunflower or something, but that shouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, there's that. Oh man, 
Wait, does he have melting properties? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that was bad timing. That was really bad timing. Um, That was like the worst timing possible. Okay, I am getting very distracted. Will he melt? Oh, he does. I didn't know that the, he could even do that. I didn't really even think about it. Well, that's a problem. That totally ruins my strategy. Uh, but yeah, lawnmower's gone. It happens. We'll figure it out. Let's do this before we lose this jack o' lantern because that'll be a lot of sun lost. Um, speaking of which, let's get rid of you as much as I can at the least. Um, oh man, now I have to like totally change my strategy around now. Get rid of you because it's not gonna work the way I thought it was gonna work. I mean, I'll try to set up more sunflowers around. Okay, here comes this guy. Honestly, let's just get rid of the pea shooter then. <laughs> it might just be for the better. Get that there. And I guess I'll get this like about there. Like maybe just jack-o'-lantern and sunflowers is all I need. Maybe I don't need pea shooter as much. Can you stop that? That's just rude, and you should know that. All right, I'm ready for you. The only problem is the jack-o'-lantern takes a while to respawn. And that's a bit of a problem. Okay. Um, let's try to make these guys cease their actions because it's becoming a problem. So that'll melt the ice real quick when you activate that. Okay, okay. You had your fun. So let's definitely torch this guy a little bit, right? Oh man. Okay, I don't want to use plant food just yet because if it's bad now, it's only going to get worse later, right? That's sort of the worry. Oh, that was not enough. I don't know where I want to use this. Let's just get rid of those guys for now and I'll get this here. Maybe not the best spot. Okay, stunning, stunning. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um This is ridiculous. Definitely torch those guys up a little bit. There's a lot to manage here. That's awesome, that's really awesome. Okay, get that there. Maybe move that around a little bit because I don't know how good of an idea that is. Okay, I wasn't able to pay attention to you. Oh no. Um, get those guys out of there. <laughs> it just never ends. It's a nightmare. This really is my doom. Okay, for right now, get that going on. Um. Maybe another jack-o'-lantern like right here. This might be a little extreme. No, it worked. Can I hit him with that? That actually works too. Okay, awesome. And is this, this is not the last lane, not last wave. This is actually, the one coming up is. So there we go. That was actually perfect because the plant food landed right on top of the mech that I needed to destroy. So that's great. And that should give me plant food. I thought he was sparkling with plant food juice. I mean, maybe I already picked it up and just didn't notice. That definitely seems like something I could do. So is this finally the last set of them? Because if so, this actually would be pretty easy just to do that. And then definitely deal with you. And then just do it again. As easy as that. Thank you very much. Okay, not bad. We lost one We lost one lawnmower. But that's not the biggest deal in the world. So as you can see, we're gonna move back to the events and there should be one more level of waiting for us. It'd be cool if we could choose our own plants with this one, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, but it doesn't matter too much because we can do the story mode levels for that. But yeah, definitely Jack-O-Lantern seems fun. Seems maybe a little impractical at times because he is very expensive and takes a while to restore. So I wouldn't want him to be like the most important part of my strategy in a normal round of PVZ. But as like a side setup, he'd be pretty cool. Anyways, lots of gravestones and stuff. I don't exactly know what the goal is here. And for right now, I can slow these guys down. That might be useful. I guess I could do something like this. It would destroy the gravestone pretty quickly. Is that the idea? I have no clue. This is really weird. Okay, get this guy out of there. Oh man, oh man, that's a lot. That's a whole bunch. Uh, let's hope that's enough. Okay, get rid of him. Please, please get rid of him. Please get rid of him. Oh man, okay, it worked. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, quickly, the moment this becomes a full flame, that's it. Nice. Uh, Let's get that there. Let's slow this whole group down. 
Slow it down, guys. Okay, so I could use plant food on all these. I just don't know if that was a good idea. <laughs> That's the problem. Was that even worth doing? Okay, so all of these guys down. That didn't work. Uh, maybe once these guys sort of, yeah, like that, perfect. Um, here, go for this. I still don't know if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> it looks like we can indeed fight fire with fire. So even though we still are missing a, okay, jack-o'-lantern, there it is. I was gonna say, I don't know why that's not popping up. I think it'd be nice and just give it to me. Okay, this is a major problem. Let's get some backup over this way. Oh, they ate my jack-o'-lantern on the top, though. That's just not nice. Okay, come on. Burn these guys up. And then up here on the top, I guess? I don't know exactly where I'm putting this. That was enough. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, do that then, maybe. Because we still have another flag to survive, my gosh. How did that end up happening? I don't know. <laughs> it just never ends. And none of these guys have plant food, it looks like. That guy's gonna get squished, I'm so sorry. There we go. Stunning these. So my jack-o'-lantern setup, setup is a little to be desired. Yeah, there we go. It won't switch them over unless you like dig one up, because I want to be able to have one per lane, obviously. Come on now. Give me my other, I didn't even see that was happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, get rid of him. I probably should be focusing on the on the big scary mech that is approaching everything I hold dear. These three puff shrooms. Okay, um, sold these guys down. I really wish I kept some plant food, but I really needed it. Where is this next jack-o'-lantern? The game's being so stingy. There we go. Just do this, don't, don't. <laughs> Stop doing that. Come on, oh, you're kidding me. Stop doing that. That's not fair. Burn him up, burn him up. It has to get him at some point, right? There he goes, get out of here. Oh, ah, no. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just, oh, come on. Stop, stop. You're such a jerk. All right, come on, get him out of here. Be gone forever. And is that it? It looks like it will be. There it is. That is tough, that is really tough, but we survived it and along with it we get a bag of coins and only three extra from all of that. That's okay, that's okay. So that is five levels for the jack-o'-lantern completed. Pretty exciting and along with it we get 2,500 coins right there, 50 experience for the jack-o'-lantern getting him at least to level three, which is cool. Um, and beyond that, not really too much more for today. Uh, we would definitely have to do far future at some point, but not right now, <laughs> definitely not right now. I'm still burned out from the Wild West situation. All right, so we are going to check the almanac really quickly and level him up if I can. Right over this way. Take a look over here. Wait, where is he? Did we pass him? Yeah, we did pass him, he's over this way. 2,500 coins, we'll go for it. That's gonna up his toughness, damage, and special flame strength by a good chunk. Definitely the special flame strength, I like that. Um, and it looks like that's about it for his level ups. He's only 10 experience away from level four though, which is pretty exciting. Hopefully we can get that maybe as a reward for doing the tournaments. I don't really know if it'll work that way. We'll have to wait and see. But hey, for right now, I wanna go ahead and at least do like one or two story mode levels with the jack-o'-lantern. I think the best place to do it, of course, where I guess it would make the most sense would be Frostbite Caves. I don't wanna do something too crazy difficult, so let's do an early on level. I'm gonna find one and hope for the best. So, we are starting with a very early on level. I think it's gonna be good though. I can earn up a lot of sun right away, try to get some sunflowers out here as well, and just sort of hope for the best. Uh, I could also do Pyrovine, I have that out here, but I'm mostly focusing on jack-o'-lanterns. And I guess I could start that out this way. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm not too worried about it because as you can see, there is a, um, what is it called? There is a push panel for both the second to the top and the second to the bottom, so they sort of have to go this way. So that works out pretty well for me for the time being. I don't know if this will permanently go well, but it is really hard to get the jack-o'-lantern set up in any kind of like applicable situation, if you ask me. 
just because of the fact that um, he's very expensive and he takes a while to restore. Uh, that combination, I mean, he's not very, he's moderately expensive, I guess would be the word for it. Okay, so let's get this right there. And then start burning that away. Do a little bit of that and a little bit of this, and we're doing pretty good. So I think I can set up a second one of those on both sides, or all three sides, and still be fine. So I'm gonna start working on that in a second. I might wanna just get a pyre vine here, just so that stuff gets a little bit melted. I think that might be the most productive thing we could get done. Push this guy back, because this is where things get a little scary and where we want at least more than one jack-o'-lantern on each lane. We're earning some pretty good sun thanks to the gold bloom now. Happy about that. But this is just so that if a lot of them start piling up, we know what to do. You know, we just use our second jack-o'-lantern. There we go. That actually was pretty good timing there. Let's put a second one there. We don't need the second one in the middle as urgently, because just not many of them are going down the middle. And also now the repeaters are definitely getting some stuff done. So overall, pretty cool. I'm glad that it's another fire plant for our collection because honestly, we've been pretty lacking for those and it definitely seems like this entire tournament or season is focused on fire plants. So soon enough, I hope that we can showcase like fire pea shooter on top of that. I wanna showcase these other on a doom plant sooner or later. Um, hopefully they'll have their own uh, plan of the week showcase, but I don't think they will, unfortunately. Doesn't always work out that way, I suppose. There we go. Getting a little bit of that. Thank you, thank you. Nah, I wanna use it just because it's fun to use, but I'd rather continue using this. But you can see that the premise is quite simple. You know, just get it set up and then toast whatever zombies show up. I mean, obviously it doesn't toast the higher end ones like the buckets or the stone head guys, the guys who have stones on their head, but overall it works fantastically. And that was basically just the jack-o'-lanterns. Of course the pea shooters helped a little bit, the repeaters, but not by a huge ton. So maybe I'll do something a little bit different. Like we'll go farther in to uh, the Frostbite Caves or something like that. And then maybe we'll do something like Jurassic Marsh. Even though I don't know if I wanna do Jurassic Marsh, I don't think it would turn out very well. So I might just do two today and then we'll just do the pinatas because we can always save that other one for an upcoming episode because I probably will record multiple today. I wanna do level seven if I can. This is the one with Pepper Pult. I wanna see a situation where it expects me to use Pepper Pult and I use Jack O'Lantern instead. I don't know how well that'll actually work out here. Uh, so if I could recycle my setup from before, that'd actually be perfect. Okay, so, immediately get some sunflowers out as soon as I can. Just like that. If we could get one more sunflowers out, that'd be perfect. I mean, the other level actually started you with some sunflowers, didn't it? Something like that. Maybe it started me with a couple of pea shooters. That's what it did. But. Hopefully I won't need them as much. So if I put this here, <laughs> that actually might not be that bad of an idea. I mean, we'll need another one soon, as you can see. But hopefully it'll restore in time. Oh, this might be, might have to use the potato for now, just for this set. We'll see though, I might be wrong. Oh no, definitely not. Yeah, this is the restore time for the jack-o'-lantern. Is pretty slow, that can make it tough. But I basically just wanna put them right here. And that way when they show up, I probably should have, ah, uh, you know what? I should have set up walnuts. I don't know why I assumed I had them, but it's okay. We can make this work, especially if we tame it up with Pyrevine. Then it's extra flaming. There we go. Whoa, wait, he goes to four lanes now. Is that because of the level up? I guess so. I guess when we got that level up, it makes his flames go farther. That's really cool. I didn't even realize that. That's a huge upgrade. I'm pretty sure, because he definitely only did three before, but now he does four. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay, let's do the gold bloom again so we can afford more jack-o'-lanterns, because that's gonna go all the way to the end. Um, the only problem is that this guy might make his way through. Oh no, we got him, we got him. The pyre vine was able to protect us for long enough. That's awesome, I'm super happy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just sort of waiting for more than the pop-up because at this point, if we can get them on every lane, that means we could start torching everybody as soon as they sort of get onto the first tile. That's awesome. Hey, hey, don't throw stuff at me. That's rude. Let's also do that. I might have to... Oh boy. This is a bit of an issue. Come on, torch him. 
There we go. Man, it's powerful too. You know, it's really powerful. Get a Jekyll in right there. Now we're gonna be doing good. Cause I can just start doing that. That was maybe a little wasteful. Some of those lanes didn't have zombies on them. Oh man, okay, the only problem here is this. Uh, well actually, it should be okay. Yep, it's fine, it's fine. Cause it's, just, it's crazy that it reaches all the way to the first tile. Like that's insane. And we can get one here and it only re reaches to the second tile, but that's still really good. Okay, torch him up. Same thing over there. Uh, yeah, let's get these guys. One more. Over that way too. Awesome. And we'll get that there. Okay, there's lots going on. Perfect, Oh, that's gonna torch those guys up. I definitely need a new one there, but you know what? Let's use some plant food. Let's go ridiculous with this. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. <laughs> Look at how many tiles it's on. That's crazy. And it still didn't get rid of this guy, but that's okay. We got it, we got it, we're fine. That is so much fun. I love the jack-o'-lantern when he has a little bit larger range. I mean, he was already good before, but definitely getting him leveled up is a huge difference, even just from level two to level three. That's insane. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Rotobega get some experience there as well. I think I might just leave it at that because like I said, I have some upcoming plant showcases. I might want to save some of those story mode pinatas for that. We are, yeah, story mode pinatas. I might want to just go ahead and do our special edition jack-o'-lantern pinata. Uh, scoring, scorching the lawn of doom for a limited time. Let's play this event, see how it goes and hope for the best. Oh, look at how spooky this whole area is. I love this. Tap Jack-O-Lantern for a burst of flame. Tap and hold for an extended burst. I haven't done that. Oh my gosh, I'm a dingus. Okay, tap and hold for an extended burst that does increasing damage. I didn't realize. Okay, so let's try that out now. So we can just sit here and hold it, but it only lasts for so long. Huh. That changes everything. I don't know why it took me a half an hour to figure that out. <laughs> I read that, and I remember reading it now. So, let's just keep saving it for more jack o lanterns I suppose. I'll stun this guy. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, they're so cool. And you can just hold it down. It's so much better. Why would you ever not hold it down? Is there any disbenefit to holding it down? Because it seems substantially better. Like, maybe it takes longer to restore or something? If that's the case, we just need to build more jack-o'-lanterns. Okay, we need to build a little bit of everything here, it seems. So let's just do this and like, goodbye to the bucket head, right? Yep, oh my gosh. I don't see a problem with that. That's for sure. Come on, there we go. Definitely do that. And I would normally wanna use the plant food here for the jack-o'-lantern, but I think it would actually be smarter to use it on a sunflower. Put this there, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, leave that alone. Thank you. I guess the only problem is that I can't give, give my attention to other jack-o'-lanterns in that time. Um, I would like to do this. Actually, no, I can tap to it once, at the least. That's good. Okay, not bad. I'll put that there. Oh gosh, here comes this guy. We should be able to handle them now. First, we'll get that there, and that gets rid of those guys really fast. See you, buddies. Yeah, like, I don't see why I would ever not do it this way now that I figured this out. <laughs> I'm so silly, I'm sorry. Okay, that works. Get rid of these two. Oh, this is so much cooler. I'm loving this now. And this covers four lanes, so this should reach two. Nice, this just got so much better. And it was already great. Okay, just barely able to manage that. <laughs> okay, then that, maybe that was a little too soon. But we can do that for sure. And then same thing over here. Okay, well that's all the juice he had. And get rid of this up there. And then quickly, as soon as there's another jack-o'-lantern available, come on, come on, come on. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I might not. Was that enough? I guess not. Oh, it's a little weird. There we go. Oh, he got through my walnut. Rude. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? First, let's torch this guy and this guy because nobody wants to deal with the shovel zombie. 
And then the bucket heads. I love how they have spooky Halloween buckets and this guy's a scarecrow. Oh, it's all so cool. I wish there were more levels that were like this, you know? You only have like one pinata level a day. Oh, and that's it, okay. Whack open three party pinatas, ooh. Let's do this one. We got three Shadow Shroom experience, three Dust Globber experience, and a thousand coins. Not bad, it's something. Okay, well I'll gladly take my reward. And that's day one done. I'm supposed to be doing more of these, but, <laughs> and I can, I guess I can watch and add the replay that one level, but like I want more. I don't want just the same level. <laughs> Okay, I wish you could watch and add the C to play the second level, but you can't do that. Um, anyways, that was really cool. I think we're gonna leave it like that. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the jack o' lantern. Do you think he's a good plant, plant bad plant? If you have any tips for me with him, I'd love to hear. But with that being said, if you want to see more jack o' lantern action, stay tuned to next episode where we'll be doing the jack o' lantern battles tournament. That should be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Before you go, be sure to comment Jacko Zebra so any of you've watched at the end of you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.